It's the result show, Premier League, week 20. The match was played yesterday, six of them, we got four today. Let's start with the match of the round from yesterday. Liverpool, uh, the leaders at the moment, at home to Arsenal. I just want to remind you that uh, the Liverpool fans are getting really excited. They're anticipating that their drought, which goes back to 1990, is about to end. We're talking about winning the Premier League. Well, uh, I won't remind them how many times Man U have won it in the intervening years. Uh, anyway, Shakiri, Fabinho and Van Arnhem were in uh, midfield with Henderson on the bench. Lovren was alongside Van Dijk in defence for Liverpool. Uh, six minutes, first chance, great work from Mane. And his cross was met by Firmino, who shot, hit Salah and went wide. Uh, lucky escape for the Gunners. Then on 11 minutes, Maitland Miles managed to get on the end of a great cross from Iwobi from the left. And it was 1-0 the Arsenal. Didn't take long for uh, Liverpool to uh, uh, respond. On 14 minutes, Salah was tackled as he was about to uh, run into the box. The ball ricocheted off him and a couple of Arsenal defenders. And it landed at the feet of Firmino following up. And the Brazilian tapped it in from six yards to make it one each. And Liverpool were at it again two minutes later. Uh, the, the Gunners lost possession in just inside their own half. Firmino picked up the ball. The defence backed off and he kept running and eventually he beat two, defenses, two defenders with a typical Brazilian uh, dribble and then buried the shot in the corner. It was 2-1 to the Scousers. A little bit later, Xhaka gave away an unnecessary corner, uh, but the Arsenal defence managed to clear, clear it upfield. Um, but the ball was then hoofed back into the uh, Arsenal half, and Salah collected it, uh, and he set up Mane from six yards out, and it was 3-1. That's 32 minutes. Dreadful defending from the Gunners. Uh, Allison then managed to clear the ball upfield uh, into Arsenal's half, and the ball went up to Salah, and then he then jinked into the box and was brought down by Socrates, and he got up and converted the penalty, and that was in added time in the first half. So it was m amazingly 4-1 to Liverpool. The second half didn't quite live up to that. Uh, but there was an early chance again for Salah, say by Leno. Aubameyang missed a sitter from two yards, which was flagged offside. Uh, but then it was Salah again causing havoc. And he set up a chance for Fabinho. Then finally, uh, Liverpool got their fifth. Another push on Lovren, bit soft. Uh, but Firmino stepped up and it was 5-1 and he completed his hat-trick. Klopp was ecstatic and now Liverpool are looking very, very strong indeed. So to Wembley and Wolves were the visitors. Sir Spurs have been on a high, scoring goals for fun. And uh, they controlled the first half. In fact, uh, early on, Ericsson forced a great save from Patricio. And then, uh, just as Wolves was getting into the game on 22 minutes, um, Kane picked up the ball well inside the Wolves' heart, but some way from goal, manoeuvred his way to the edge of the box and hit a 30-yard scream with his left foot, which hit the back of the net. Uh, that was 1-0 uh, Spurs. Um, after that, Son had an effort that ju went, just went over. But Wolves steadied the ship and um, they started uh, spraying passes around like they uh, have become accustomed to. 
and we got to the break uh, with Spurs probably thinking they should have been two up, but they were only one up. Into the second half, and Wolves took the game to Spurs. Um, they really started playing some nice football, and uh, they brought on Costa and Matinho, and uh, on 72 minutes, Matinho's corner was met by Bolly, and the header was far too strong for Lloris, and uh, that was 1-1. Shortly after that, Kane got booked for diving. He wasn't very happy about that. Um, but Wolves were now looking on top. Uh, Spurs had gone into their shell a little. And on 83 minutes, um, they lost possession. And neat passing move uh, by Wolves. Uh, it arrived at Jimenez on the edge of the box. And a neatly placed shot. Trickled past uh, Lloris into the corner. I thought the goalie was a bit slow to react, but it was certainly well placed. So all of a sudden, Wolves had turned it around and they were 2-1 up. And then, to make matters work worse, Spurs looking for the equaliser, putting all the pressure on. They got caught on the break. Some nice passing between Neves onto Doherty, and then he managed to time his pass to perfection to Costa, who beat the offside trap, and then stroked in the third on in the corner on 87 minutes. So that was that. Deserved win for Fruit Wolves. The final score, three goals to one. So to the King Power Stadium. Leicester at home to Cardiff. Leicester's recent form... Dynamite, two wins against Chelsea and Man City. So this looked a banker, home win. But football doesn't work out like that, I'm afraid. And early saves from Madison by Etheridge set the tone. He later then blocked Vardy, and he was having a stormer. Got to the break, goalless. Uh, and that man uh, from the Philippines denied Pereira into the second half. Um, then Cardiff got into it a bit and Michael had to be strong. But finally, uh, Madison was upended in the box by Morrison. A penalty to the Foxes. And Madison stepped up, but Etheridge was there again, saved the kick, and Bamba prevented a rebound going in to the top corner. Uh, and so it still remained uh, goalless. We were into added time now, and amazingly, uh, Camarasa hit a peach of a shot into the corner of the net on 92 minutes to grab the headlines and to help Cardiff grab the points. Well, Warnock was absolutely delighted. So to the relegation battle, Fulham at home to Huddersfield. Uh, they're uh, 19th and 20th res respectively. So it felt a little bit like a relegation six-pointer. And the first half was one of those sort of games. Totally uneventful. Uh, so let's move into the second half. Um, Losel started to show his colours. He saved from a Mitrovic header and then denied Kamara um, with a great save. Anyway, as we moved on, uh, Leber's hand gave Fulham a penalty late on, and there was a right squabble about who to take it. Kamara uh, grabbed the ball. Mitrovic was obviously unhappy, um, and we learnt later that he is the designated penalty taker. The coachman knew he was also very unhappy. But Kamara took the uh, kick and, of course, Losel saved it. His blushes were saved when on 91 minutes, Sessegnon fed Mitrovic and he scored to snatch an absolutely priceless win by a goal to nil. At Vicarage Road then, Newcastle in town. Rondon and Perez were back for Newcastle. Early on, Delafeo strikes was saved by Dubrovka. 
Uh, we got to minute 29 and, and the first chance for Newcastle. And Richie delivered a great cross from the left. And Rondon jumped and headed home strongly uh, to give the Magpies a lead. A little later, he had a second, but it was chalked off for offside. So 1-0 Magpies at the break. In the second half, Watford uh, certainly tried to uh, get an equaliser. On 76 minutes, Deeney had a good chance, but his header was rather tame and Dubrovka uh, collected it easily. But finally, on 82 minutes, Decora's header from a Delafeo cross, and we were at 1 1. That's how it finished. One each. So to the Amex, Everton uh, arriving. Uh, Chris Hewton, the Brighton boss, was celebrating four years in charge. Uh, and early on, um, they got a piece of luck. The, the keeper fumbled at the ball uh, and Everton uh, scored the goal. But it was ruled out uh, as being offside. Uh, into the second half then, an Andoni shot was blocked. And he then uh, forced a great save from Pickford with a header. We got to 59 minutes, and then Lacardia, who was clearly in an offside position, received the ball from an Everton defender. And so after consulting with the linesman who confirmed this, a goal was awarded. So that was 1-0 to Brighton. Lay on, Zuma headed against the bar uh, from a Sigurdsson free kit, but Brighton held on to take the three points. Selhurst Park then. First of the Sunday's matches. Chelsea the visitors. Um, looking at the first half hour, Chelsea really dominating possession and Palace looking to uh, do the counter attack. Um, Giroud had a goal uh, ruled out for offside. Um, it was tight but correct decision. But other than that, keepers were relatively quiet. For the rest of the half, uh, a free kick from William. It was edged wide by uh, the keeper. And we got another strike from William that was pushed around the post. Um, Barkley did a spectacular overhead kick on 36 minutes, which hitched, hit the edge of the post. But we arrived at the break goalless. Uh, into the second half then. David Luiz, great chip, uh, chip ball on 50 minutes. And Kante anticipating it brilliantly. Ran onto it and hooked the ball wide of the goalie. That was 1-0 Chelsea. It was a scruffy contact, but it didn't matter. It still went in. From there on, really, uh, it looked likely that Chelsea would add a second. William continued to test the keeper. Palace brought on Wickham because they were lacking fire out power. Sahar had done very little, and Townsend uh, wasn't as sparkling as he was against Man City. Palace did better in the last quarter. They had a few half chances, but Kepa kept those out and was rarely troubled. Chelsea had done enough, and they secured the 1-0 win. So to St Mary's, the champions, Manchester City, in town. A Hassan Hottle made six changes from the match in the week, the significant one being Austin in for Ings. For City, Fernandinho was back, as was David, Sil David Silva, and company was in at the back. Early on, four minutes, David Sealy denied by keeper McCarthy. And then six minutes, Austin put through one-on-one -on -one with Edison and he fluffed his lines. That was definitely a chance for Southampton to open the scoring. And quickly they were punished. Nine minutes, Bernardo Silva got to the byline and his pinpoint pass into the penalty box was put on a plate for David Silva and it, next minute it was in the back of the net, 
18 minutes, some wonderful passing out from the back led to a run from Mares, who uh, forced a good save. Uh, the shot then just went wide. 24 minutes, another great move, and Aguero's effort was saved by McCarthy. Uh, Austin did have a header that forced a save from Edison on 32. Uh, but then on 36 minutes, in it, Inchenko, at left back, made a big mistake coming out of defence, and Holzberg uh, picked the ball up and he lashed the ball high into the net. Edison, no chance, 1-1. So we got to a few minutes from the break. Uh, Aguero miscued a half chance, but then on third 43, uh, sorry, 44, Sterling got to the byline. Uh, his cross come shot, hit a defender, and it went into the net, and so City were back in front 2-1. Right, third minute of added time, a great cross uh, from Inchenko and Aguero, like a bird, soared above everybody and headed it in to make it 3-1 City at the break. Into the second half then, and Aguero should have made it four when he hit a post on 58. A great piece of skill, that. Um, the odd chance for... Uh, uh, Southampton, but on 84, Holzberg, very poor challenge on Fen uh, Fernandinho, and out came the second yellow, which was red card. Southampton down to 10, game over. Uh, Southampton were competitive throughout the second half, but you always felt the champions were in control. So final score, comfortable win, 3-1 for Man City. So, to Old Trafford, the last uh, match of the round, and uh, Solskjaer looking for the third win in a row. Well, he had Lukaku back on the bench after the, his compassionate year, leave. Young and uh, Shaw were at full backs, and Martial was also back after an illness. Rashford up front. So, Bournemouth, well, they're now sadly without their uh, captain Francis, who did an ACL in the week. He'll be out for the rest of the season. United got off very quickly out of the blocks. Four minutes, Rashford on the right touchline, weaved his magic and trickery and bamboozled two defenders before putting his cross across the six-year box and Pogba was anticipating it better than the defenders and he stretched out to put the ball in the net and that was 1-0. Rashford ha had a, a goal, uh, certain goal, uh, forted by Aki uh, on 14 minutes who divi diverted it when it hit his head. Um, anyway, on 25 minutes... Uh, an Ake header was tipped away by De Gea. Well, warning that Bournemouth are quite a talented group of players. And then on 32 minutes, Young to Herrera. And he put in a great cross. And Pogba leaped high above everybody to head in. And that was 2-0 on 32 minutes. Well, it got even better. 44 minutes. An absolutely peach of a pass from Martial after good work by Matic. Put Rashford through and he slotted the ball home with a plum and it was 3-0. We looked like that was going to be half-time score but Bournemouth had other ideas. On 46 minutes, a Brooks cross in the box was headed in by Ake. So that was 3-1 at the break. 67 minutes, uh, Bournemouth were looking improved. But Bay blocked the king effort on 67 minutes. Uh, and then on 69, Lukaku replaced Rashford. 
and within two minutes, uh, he got on the end of a delightful left scooped cross from Pogba and slotted it home with his right foot. He was slightly offside, but nevertheless, it was 4-1 to United. Uh, that was basically it, although Bay did get a second yellow and his marching orders on 79. And Pogba also hit a post and it looked like Begovic got a slight touch to do, deny the hat-trick. But everybody's smiling at Old Trafford, third win in a row. Uh, they won this one by four goals to one. To Turf Moor and West Ham were in town. Uh, I didn't see much of this match, so the briefest of uh, highlights. On 15 minutes, uh, Wood collected a Barnes header and finished with an emphatic strike. That was Burnley one up. Then on uh, 33 minutes, McNeil got on a cross from the right and made it two uh, before the interval. Uh, nothing much to report in the second half. Burnley getting a deserved win by two goals to nil. So how does that uh, leave the table? Well, uh, Liverpool now still on top, but uh, their lead is being cut to uh, seven points over City. Uh, two points further back are Spurs. And Chelsea are up to fourth now. They're a further two points back. Fifth, Arsenal uh, and United getting closer to them now. They're only three points behind Arsenal in sixth. At the bottom, Huddersfield are now uh, uh, well at the bottom. They're four points behind Fulham, uh, who are a point behind Burnley. We've got more football uh, on Tuesday, New Year's Day, and on Wednesday. So I'll be back with another set of shows for that. Goal of the week. Yeah, good question. Goal of the week. Well, I'm going to give it to um, that uh, goal for Rashford. What a beautiful piece of football by United. <laughs>